Today we are looking at the all new fifth generation WRX and despite all of the hate this car first received and still does to this day receive on the new design changes, I really like the look of it in person. So if you haven't seen one in person, then go to your local dealer and check one out because I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by the looks, especially if it's in this all new ignition red color. This is my favorite color right now on this generation WRX. You can also get sapphire blue and a new orange color for the WRX. If those colors don't quite do it for you, of course, Subaru still offers the World Rally Blue, probably the most popular color that you can get on the WRX, as well as the crystal black, a ceramic white, ice silver metallic, and the magnetite gray metallic. Here's a fun fact that you may or may not know about, and that is WRX stands for World Rally Experimental. Let me know down in the comment section below if you already knew that. It's no secret that the WRX is Subaru's rally-inspired car. That's what it's known for, and so that is what WRX actually stands for. This generation WRX first came out in 2022. It remains unchanged for the 2023 models as well. So if you're curious, if you get a 22 or a 23, they are identical. It's just the 2022 is gonna be slightly less expensive. Let's start with the exterior design on this car, which is probably the most controversial update on this fifth generation WRX. There are many people who have expressed their dislike towards the black cladding around the wheel arches, as well as the large black cladding piece on the lower portion of the bumper. And I have to admit, I was one of those people. I did not like the look of the WRX when it was first released online. However, upon seeing this in person, I think it looks so much better than it does online. So much so that I'm actually considering getting a WRX myself. Might trade the Outback in, or I don't know, maybe this will be something that I will uh, trade my wife's car in on and drive this instead and give her the Outback. This car is both wider, longer, and slightly lower than the previous generation WRX. This front grille is the standard hexagonal grille that comes on the new WRX. If you want something a little bit different, of course, there's many aftermarket options out there, but Subaru does offer a sport grille as well that looks like this. The headlights are called Kono G LED headlights. Kono G translates to C-shaped headlights. So here is just a close-up look of what they look like. And the WRX also has these LED fog lights on the premium and higher trim levels. The hood scoop we see here on the center of the hood is really wide, just further accentuating the width of this car. And this is a functional hood scoop, so this does feed air through the hood and into the top mount intercooler. Here's what the rear end looks like. We've got the quad tips for the exhaust and integrated into our trunk lid is this small spoiler. So nothing too aggressive, but does give you a little added sportiness to the look of the rear end of this car. The rear taillights have also been redesigned and inside, if you look closely, it sort of looks like broken shards of glass. However, this is supposed to mimic the look of volcanic magma. Throughout the car, if you look closely on the black cladding, you'll see a fine texture that kind of resembles much like a golf ball. However, this is there by design. This is to reduce air turbulence. On the front of the WRX, you'll see three cutout holes for the wheel wells. This reduces the air pressure that's inside of those wheel wells to decrease lift on acceleration and to improve stability overall. The rear vents on the back bumper also help improve stability by releasing trapped air that might collect under the rear bumper. I'm really digging this new wheel design on the WRX. This is an 18 inch alloy wheel in a really dark metallic gray wrapped in the Dunlop summer tires. Under the hood, we get the 2.4 liter turbo engine. Just to give you an idea on the size of this engine, this is what they put as a standard in our third row SUV, which is the Subaru Ascent. Now, if you compare this engine to the previous 2021 generation of the WRX, 
you'll see that the horsepower doesn't change by much. I think it's like three additional horsepower that you get with this larger displacement engine. However, if you look at this graph, you'll see that the torque at both higher and lower speeds is greater for this new generation 2.4 liter turbo WRX. All but the base for this fifth generation WRX have keyless entry with push button start, which means you don't have to get the key fob out to open the door. As long as the key fob is nearby, it automatically unlocks just like that. And it has the push button start. So we'll get a cold start for you guys. The interior on this premium trim has black cloth with red stitching. Now, if you move up to the limited trim, you'll have ultra suede interior that looks like this. And if you bump up to the GT trim, you will have the Recaro racing seats up front. Sadly though, the manual transmission is not available for the GT trim. I'm not sure why Subaru did that, but if you're somebody who wants the six speed manual transmission, you'll have to go with any other trim but the GT. The Subaru Performance transmission comes with the taller center console, while the six speed manual transmission has this lower center console to make it easier when shifting. If you opt for Subaru's automatic version or what they call now Subaru Performance transmission, you will have an eight speed manual mode with paddle shifters on the back of the steering wheel. Aside from the manual transmission, this steering wheel is one of my favorite things about this car. It has a D-shaped or a flat bottom steering wheel that makes it so much easier when you are taking turns. It gives you a lot more leverage. So whether or not you plan to track this car or daily drive it, it's very comfortable to drive and very enjoyable. Down below here, we have these aluminum pedal covers with little rubber grips on them, as well as the aluminum brush dead pedal. It's hard to not notice this large 11.6 inch touchscreen display that is now in the fifth generation WRX. This was first seen in the 2020 Outback and Legacy and is now slowly being moved over to the other Subaru models, including the WRX. I personally like this larger screen. I can understand the concern for people who like the more tactical controls with the, the climate controls on the bottom, but this is something that I think is very easy to navigate and use. It does take a little bit of getting used to, but something that is not a deal breaker for me personally. Because this WRX is the manual transmission, it does not have the adaptive cruise control or lane centering. It does still, however, have regular cruise control. On the lower left-hand side of the steering wheel, we have these levers, which will change the vehicle information that's displayed in the center of the gauges. And we'll see a lot of the stuff that we're familiar with, like fuel economy, time of date, and weather but this one has an additional menu option to show you your boost gauge for your turbo. In the passenger seats, there is quite a bit of space. Now this seat could go back further, but there is still quite a bit of room in front of my knees as well as a decent amount of head space. I'm 5'6", so you can compare that to your own height to uh, get an idea, but there is quite a bit of space. The vehicle is a little bit wider back here in the back seat area, and you have a decent amount of space for car seats if you need that. Overall, I am really digging the new look of the WRX. I did not like it at first. I was not a huge fan, but upon seeing it in person, that has really changed my mind, and it has me seriously considering the option of getting one myself. Let me know your all's thoughts down below. If you guys like content like this, I make new videos every single week on Subaru, so be sure to click the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to like it if you got value out of this video and enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one.